Hi everyone, welcome back to the tasting room. We're sampling today a bourbon whiskey from Traverse City, Michigan. This is the Traverse City Whiskey Company Pork Barrel Finish Bourbon. So as I mentioned, this bourbon here is from Michigan, Traverse City, Michigan, obviously, by the name. And uh, some of you may be thinking, well, how can they call it a bourbon? Because, you know, if it doesn't come from Kentucky, it's actually not one of the stipulations for a bourbon. A bourbon does have to be made in the United States of America, but it does not have to be made in Kentucky. Uh, just so happens that about 95% of America's bourbon is made in Kentucky, but there are, there are distilleries in you know, Ohio, Michigan, Illinois, Colorado, there are, in fact, a number of criteria bourbon or a whiskey must meet to be able to be called a bourbon, but uh, being born in Kentucky is not one of them. So this one here is actually has been finished for a couple of additional months in port barrels. So I picked up this whiskey a little while back, and uh, been, uh, I've been, I've been, as you can see here from the, from the size of the bottle, I've been chewing on it. I've been trying to uh, trying to develop an appreciation for the flavor here, but. I'm not, uh, I can't get past the nose, I don't know. It's a, it's a very strange, it's got, a, it's got some very strange aromas here. And I haven't had too many port finished bourbons. I've had a number of port finished scotches and sherry finished scotches, but, uh, but, but bourbon not so much. So this to me, the, you know, it's, it's got the aroma of wine-soaked rotting wood. I, there's, some, there's, there's something I just, I can, I can appreciate the fact I get a lot of darker fruits. And it's very earthy and again very woody. Certainly points for originality on the nose here, but there's something, something about it that just seems a little off to me. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan. So right away you get a little bit of that sweetness from the, uh, from the bourbon, from the corn. And then right away it transforms on your palate to become very, very dry. Do have some of the notes of the vanilla and the spices, but for the most part, the uh, the true nature of the bourbon is completely consumed by the uh, by the port casks. Now I've I've read that uh, for this is finished in in the port barrels for three or four months after it's uh, after maybe I want to say four years in uh, in the white oak. And I wouldn't think that would be too long, but I don't know, something about it that's just not, it's not allowing a lot of those, those true bourbon flavors to come through. Now the finish is woody, still a little bit fruity, it's of medium length, hit you with a little more of that spice on the, on the, uh, on the finish. An acquired taste, this one, um, not terrible on, on its own right, but uh, but as a bourbon, I'm going to have to rate it as a bourbon, so. So the nose on this one, again, points for originality, it had, uh, had a very interesting nose. Maybe some notes that I wasn't particularly a fan of, but um, still a versatile nose, you know, it was fruity, it was, it was woody. Uh, we'll give the nose 19 points. The taste, again, I think the finishing in the port casks really was, it might have been just a little bit too long. It, uh, it, it, it really consumed a lot of that flavor. I'm going to give the taste 17 points. Uh, the finish was a nice, uh, it had a nice length. So it was a good medium length finish, had some spice, left you with a little bit more of that rich oakiness. We'll give the finish 18 points. And the balance for this one, I'm going to leave at 
And that's going to give us an overall score of 70.5 points for this Traverse City Whiskey Company Port Barrel Finish Bourbon. So not a terrible score, but not a great one. Uh, this is a you know this is a limited edition, so you may want to pick it up and see what you think of it. I was not particularly a fan. That's just me and my tastes. Now uh, I have read that this uh, that the Traverse City Whiskey Company sources their bourbon, and they also source their port casks. Uh, they don't say where they source the uh, the port barrels from, um, but maybe it's Michigan. I don't know. I took a trip to Michigan, and uh, let me tell you, they're a white wine state. You'd be hard pressed to find a halfway decent red wine in Michigan, and that's again my opinion. But I thought they were all just, just some special kind of awful. So maybe, maybe to get their port casks from Michigan, sourced locally, and maybe that's why it has kind of an off taste to me. I don't know. It's about forty bucks. If you can spare it, pick it up. See what you think. Let me know. You know, maybe, maybe I'm completely off on this one, but my opinion. But anyway, that's what you're watching this for. And I'd like to thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in right here on The Tasting Room. I do a review uh, of some sort, typically whiskey, some tequilas, some gins. I do one every week on uh, Saturday it's posted. I really hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And I hope to see you again next week right here on The Tasting Room.